It's over for you. Hello. I need to report something. Under the Eclipse nightclub bar and there's a ring. It's over for him. What's the surprise, Rachel? Girl, don't even come to this city, Rachel. Rachel, stay home. Stay home. Please don't show up. This city is dangerous. Well, Mr. J got his free neck adjustment. Rio is going to talk to Christian. They're going to see what happens with that if he's going to let Christian move in with him. And then Rachel has a surprise for Daria. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that girl didn't show up in this city. This city's not it. It's not safe. Stay home, Rachel, please. So let's see what the surprise is and what happens next. Go follow the amazing author Eves. And without further ado, let's start the drama. What's the surprise Rachel has for me? Oh no, this chapter is called Reconnect. Oh no, don't do it, Rachel. Daria, there you are. Hi, darling. Hey, do you have any idea about some surprise? I'm not sure, but I think something's at the door for you. You should go check it out. Oh no, girl, don't show up here. What could be going on? Don't do it, Rachel. Don't show up. Okay. Oh my gosh. Surprise! Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's everybody! No. Okay, Rachel's great and all, but I'm trying to see people in the back. I welcome train both started laughing hysterically. Oh my gosh, Regina. It's Kendall and Tristan back there. I missed you and Grant and Grace, my new babysitter, is so damn boring. You were so much better than her. Regina language, oh my god, it's Tristan. And Kendall. And Rachel's parents were there too, the crosses. Rachel's dead Grant Cross. From the stories my dad told him, Mr. Cross had gone through the most together. Mr. Cross recently became the police chief. The police chief. Hopefully he turned that city around because St. Alfonso was a hot mess. We got Grace. She's a senior flight attendant at American Global Airways, the country's top. That's what we thought, airline. But last I heard she was planning to retire soon, so they were... Obviously busy, but took the time to come see me. Regina, the little girl who I used to babysit frequently, was here too. That's gotta be Tristan. And Kenzel's daughter. I know our families are all good friends, but despite that, I still couldn't help but be a little confused at their sudden visit. What was going on? What was with the sudden surprise? You guys made it. Come on inside. I can't believe we're all here. It's so nice to see you again, Daria girl. It's nice to see you, Kenzel. Thank you, Kenzel. Likewise, Mrs. Ashford. How's school going? Girl, it's trash. Seriously, how's school going? What? <laughs> That's like such an oldie thing of you to say. Did you just call me old? We're literally the same age. At least I don't act like it. These were the Ashfords. They were Regina's parents. Regina said Tristan Ashford. The CEO fan of, but we don't talk about that. We don't talk about the father. Mm. Him, Mr. Cross, and my dad were basically brothers. They were always had each other's backs for all the time I've known them. We got Kendall. She's a lawyer, that's right, and has their own law firm in St. Alfonso. From what I've heard, these two were high school sweethearts, and their love story was kind of turbulent. Oh, it's very similar. It's very similar. Not as dangerous, though. Well, no, it was. It was. It was dangerous. Their daughter was also significantly younger than Rachel and I because they waited longer to have kids. But nevertheless, my family and Rachel's family was so close with theirs. School is great, Mr. Ashford. It's really not that we are lying. That's good to hear, Daria. At least Daria is nice <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, so what are you guys doing here, by the way? What's the occasion? Um, well, oh, there was no occasion. It was the weekend and we were just like... Ugh, it's been a while since we've seen the Camdens in person. So we all decided to go on this spontaneous trip. That's such a lie. That's sweet. But why am I not completely buying that? Yeah, it's because of Kendall. Kendall's here to be the lawyer. I just know it. I feel it. I sighed, finally recovering from the overwhelming sensation. I try to think about what could have brought them there. Take us with you. Take us back, please. Please take us back. You know the grants the police chief in the other city I know has probably turned around and cleaned up a little bit. We need to go back. Who is yelling outside? Oh, there's neighborhood drama. One sec. Did they all know then? Hey, how are things, girl? Terrible. I'm kind of offended. You haven't texted me for like a week now. Well, my bad, Rach. Things have been kind of challenging lately. Yeah. Oh, why? Did someone hurt you, Daria? I'll kick their ass. Let's get him, Regina. Me too. Where did you learn how to say that? You tell me. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so cute seeing these kissers. I think Daria's just going through the challenges moving to a new city. We need to move back desperately. Something like that. This is just not our city. Or maybe she's going through relationship challenges. Are you dating someone, Daria? I like halfway there. Dating? Oh, no. I'm not dating anyone. 
She has a crush on someone now. Right next door. Ashy baby. What are you talking about? The neighbor, right? The one that doesn't speak. What's his name again? Oh, Asher. I don't have a crush on him. Lies. Lies. There's so many lies. Me when I lie. <laughs> hey. That's right. It's a lie. No, but seriously. We're just friends. Okay, all right. right. You can tell us that a hundred times that we do not believe you. We know there's feelings there. You know there's feelings there. He knows there's feelings there. Your friends know there's feelings there. It is what it is, girl. Okay, so this is now back to Christian talking to me with the extra name I gave him. Okay, let's see here. This poor boy, hey. Well, he's ripped up Alpha. Hey, Rio, help him, please. Please help him. Damn, you got all your stuff already. I don't even say you can move in yet. Well, no, I've kind of been carrying my stuff around the past few days. Huh? What do you mean? Boy, he lives under a bridge. Do you remember that night we met up? Uh, oh. When I got home, the land was throwing all our stuff out of the apartment. Um, okay. Hey, so we were too far behind rent since my mom was in jail. Dad's missing. Well, the sad part is dad's not going to be found. Mr. Ajay. He was like Sally Sinks. So I saved what I could, and I've kind of been sleeping on the streets. Under the bridge, this poor boy, he doesn't deserve this. And the thing about him is, on the street, under the, well, no one deserves this. I tried a night at a bus stop, except for someone like Tegan and Elias, too. They, they, they deserve this. This boy does not deserve this. I feel so bad for him. What? You've just been out there. Yeah, basically. You idiot. You should have called me. Boy, he met up with you at the restaurant to talk about this. What the... Real? What if I hadn't called you back at all and asked you to come here? Well, I would have just had to accept it, I guess. I was going to start at your school next week, so I'd at least have somewhere to shower. How could our dad do this to you? If he abandoned us, he should have taken care of you and your mom. But he abandoned you guys, too. What, did he have a third family we don't know about? Well, Uh-oh. Rio, what's all this noise? I'm scared about the situation. What is he doing here? Girl, it's not his fault. Mrs. Aj Rio, why is your father's bastard son in my living room? Don't even talk. Don't even talk because my sympathy level for you is very low right now because you aren't doing anything and you're the parent here and your kid is basically selling his body online to pay the bills that you aren't, so. And it's not mama. Don't say that. It's not this kid's fault. He's gonna be living with us now, point blank period. Mama, I'm sorry I didn't say anything sooner. Yeah, go back in your bedroom and go do nothing all day like you normally do. You didn't tell her? No, it's fine. I'll talk to her at some point. Come on. I'll show you the guest room. Can't we talk to her? All she's ever done is drinking and laying down. And look, I get it. Your husband left you for the family that you secretly had for apparently a long time. But that's no way this boy didn't ask for that. He didn't. It's not his fault. And as a parent... She's not even taking care of her own kid. So why is she over here sitting here causing a scene about the other kid coming to live here? She can't even take care of herself. At this point, the person who's paying the bills should have the say, which is Rio. I needed that. Did you? Bro, what were you doing behind the bed? It's time to lay some ground rules. Boy, what? Huh? Why do you think they call it ground rules? Because we're on the ground. If you're in an air... <laughs> What goes through his mind? I don't know, figures. Anyway, I want you to get a job. I pay all the bills here, but since you live here, you have to chip in now. I'll try. Where do you work? How, how do you pay all the bills by yourself? Um, rule number two, no super personal questions. I'm not an open book, so don't open me. Wait, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I think that's all I have. You made a big deal about two rules? Oh, rule three. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor here. You're right. Thanks, Rio. Seriously. He doesn't know our papa's in the ring. Well, maybe that's why he's been missing. But can I even tell him? That'd be exposing the whole thing then. I can't. Well, we... Uh, I'm going to my room. Peace. Oh. Okay. You know, the one thing I have to say about Christian is he just, he just goes with it. And that, I feel so bad for him. Okay. Oh, look what the cat dragged in again. If I wanted to be insulted, I have a conversation with my parents. So give me a break. What's going on here? Nice hair. That mean a lot if it didn't come from you. Anyway, I think I see who I actually came here for. 
Aw, it's cute that Maisie's close with them. Hey, bestie. Maisie, you're here again. It's cute that she's... How's it going? I've been good. I have a piano recital coming up in a few weeks. I've been practicing for that. You're coming, right? Just send me the details. Thanks. You're so nice. I wish you and my sisters were still friends so you'd come over more often. It's kind of hard to be friends again with someone you betrayed, no? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's kind of hard to be friends again with someone you betrayed. Okay, so there's something there. There is something there. I will say, though, I know we're on kind of like the nights with Maisie right now because of her. Re yeah, but I mean, I see the good in her. I do see the good in her, unlike someone like Kiara. But I want Maisie to be good because I, I really like the relationship she has with Hayden, the little cute friendship she has. And I think her and Lexus, I'm kind of rooting for the two in the long run, but only if Maisie pulls that goodness outside and we can hopefully help her family situation, which seems awful. Okay, back to all of the characters. How have you guys been? Terrible. Is the new cafe open yet? Almost. In the final stage of construction. Okay, when we get this open, can we hire a manager and then just leave the city, please? You guys better come back for the grand opening. Oh, you bet I'll be there. I'll be the one holding, like, the big scissors. You know, the ones they <laughs> can't. Shouldn't the owners be doing that? Okay, you've been quiet. Everything all right? No. <laughs> oh, Yeah. It's not. It's been a train wreck around here. My bad. Sorry. I'll just use the bathroom. Is he okay? Is everything okay? No. He's been taking what happened to Daria Har. I mean, it's been hard for all of us, but it's really, really affected him. Oh, totally. I can't even imagine. If that kind of thing happened to our daughters... Y'all would have been there beating them up, period. <laughs> I sighed as I tucked Regina into bed in the guest room. They had been on quite a long drive, so I empathized with her tiredness. She couldn't stay awake for all the gossip Rachel and I had to share, unfortunately. She's asleep already. Yeah. Come on, let's go downstairs. We sat in the living room where the, low, where the loud and hearty laughs of our... <laughs> parents' conversations could be heard. It was kind of sweet, actually, that their friendship had persevered for so many years. It really is. Since we moved, it had actually been the longest we hadn't seen each other, so I understood the immense catching up they had to do. Are you okay? You look hurt. Yes. Rachel's tone was one of slight caution. I could tell she knew. She knew about what happened, how I didn't really know. Well, you know how close your parents are, so and I didn't really care. This was Rachel, the one, one of the only ones who was there for me the last time I faced torment from him. So even though I didn't tell her outright, if she knew that was all I needed. Tears rolled up in my eyes and I nodded wordlessly. It seemed she understood the meaning behind the nod. No, I'm not okay, but I will be, so don't worry about me. Ugh, I wish I loved you. No, run! Take her with you, Rachel, please. Be careful what you wish for. Exactly, you do not want to live in this city. Why? Are people at your new school like shitty? Yes! Well, it's terrible around here, yes. Don't even lie, basically. Well, maybe some aren't. Like who? The neighbor? Him? Rio? Lexis? Um, Zana. Zana's really nice. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else. Maisie could be nice if she wasn't part of the popular crowd. I think if she was part of, like, their friend group, it would be a whole different situation. Um... And there's like maybe like one or two, maybe even three people in that group. But there's so many bad eggs at that school. It's just sad. But I'm really curious about him. You never talk to me about guys until him. Until mm -mm 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 -mm. him. Oh, please. I was really talking about how annoying and rude he was. Exactly. Enemies to lovers. Rachel. Who's an enemy to lover? No one, dad. Now look what you did. Damn, this must be some teenager lingo I'm not familiar with. Anyway, Daria, I'm gonna order a lot of food for us so you should invite your friends over. You know the ones you had over yesterday. We'd like to meet them too. Oh, sure I can text them. Okay. What's this knowing glance? Oh, he noticed he had eye bags when he typically didn't. He also seemed to be a bit frazzled. Yeah, what my mom said suddenly came back to me. He's been taken hard too. However, this time he seemed to be acting opposite of how he usually did. He had always been the one to start new conversations with me before. But now it was as if he was distancing himself. Dad, can I talk to you? Sure. I think he's just upset about what happened. They probably feel like they could have done more. 
which I remember I had like, you know, y'all know my feelings from a few chapters back. Mom and I talked this morning at the gym. She told me you've been kind of taking this hard. Like what happened to me? But I don't want you to. This wasn't my fault just as much as it wasn't yours. I feel so bad for him. I'm your father, Daria. You're my daughter and I should be there to protect you, but I couldn't be there. I should have done more. I should have taken you to another school, filed some kind of restraining order, hired security or something. I'm sorry. You know what, though? That's the great thing about her parents. They understand and they're so deeply caring and loving for her. They know they made some mistakes, too. And they're really, really good people. I failed you, Daria, but I don't think he failed her. That's not true. Before my father could finish his sentence, I pulled him into a high tight hug. I knew where he was coming from. I knew where my mom was coming from too. But I hated they were feeling this way because throughout everything my parents were the ones who had stood by my side and I didn't want them to ever feel like they had failed me whatsoever. Darling, my loves, they're all having a cute little moment. They needed this. I love you guys seriously. You've done everything for me. Never think that you're not enough or that you failed me. This, they really needed this. Now who do we have here is this Asher. Sometimes I wondered if I voluntarily put myself through pain. Well, why else would I have this picture next to me where I slept? To remind me of what I lost. To remind me of the emptiness of this house. To try and make it hurt less. Because it did hurt. It hurt. It hurt that none of these people were here with me right now. And one of them would never be with me again. Oh, we getting a little flashback of what happened? Joshua, what the heck are you doing? I have to leave. I'm not safe here. What? What are you talking about? Lock the doors, okay? You have to. I'm not safe here. I have to go now. Keep this with you. As long as you have this, you're going to be safe. Trust me. I'll be back, okay? Okay. Joshua. Joshua, wait. And then what happened? I need to know the rest of this backstory because I still don't know the full backstory. Oh, it's Angel. Seeing her name made a small warrant spread on my chest. This concerned me a bit. Why did the fact she was calling me right now come for me so much? I think it was just her charm, though. And the crush. And the crush. And the crush, crush, crush. Whenever the familiar feeling of being alone was getting too tough, she would always just seem to alleviate it. You about to go to a dinner. A big dinner, Angel. 